Arr, so I hear you want to defeat Duke Fisher on the easy way. Well, this was submitted by viewer Jay Oxtoby, so a big thank you to Jay for this. Ah, good, 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 good. First off, make sure you have a Spectre suit. Make sure you also have a Spectre hood with it as well. You're going to need the healing aspect. Build a little platform up top with some three piranha statues all wired to a one second timer. Make sure you put your magical crystal ball in the middle of them. You're going to need it. Before you get going, make sure you have some iron skin potions and some magical power potions as well. Okay, good, 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 good. Now here's the important part, and you really have to make sure you have this. But you're going to need a Star Veil, Avenger Emblem, Sorcerer Emblem, Celestial Emblem, and the Celestial Cuffs. Make sure they all have the menacing prefix on them too. It makes it easier for the damage. Okay, good, 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 good. Now as for a potential weapon, make sure you have the bubble gun. Godly prefix is very preferred. If not, have the godly razor pine. The trick is, you're gonna hang off the wooden platforms up top. Make sure your one second timer is activated. You're gonna take damage from the piranhas, so that's gonna be the savior against Duke Fishron. Make sure you drink your potions before he arrives. That way you're well prepared. You're gonna hang off the platform the whole entire time, shooting the bubble gun or razor pine whichever you have, and for the most part, the first phase isn't very difficult at all. You should get to it pretty well unscathed. It's the second phase that's going to be a bit of a problem, so make sure you have healing potions as well, but I assume you already have this, knowing how long you've probably played the game. Anyway, as you can see here, we're starting to take a little bit more damage now. The one thing you may have to be careful of is he may summon a whirlpool right underneath you. This may cause you to move. There's no other way around it. If you don't, you're going to die. That's all there is to it. But as you can see, the fight's almost over, and we've pretty much gotten him all the way down. It's a very effective little way of doing it. It's very endgame-ish, but it does help a lot, and it simplifies the battle so much more. So, for one more time, I'll show you guys how to do it once again, to show you that it's no fluke. It does really make a difference. Once again, we'll be fully buffed for this battle. We're totally ready. We have our piranhas out and going. We're taking damage from them, but the Star Veil is helping us avoid damage from Fishron. And we're doing the same thing as we were before. It's a very interesting tactic. Like I said, very end game, but it does work. So feel free to give it a shot if you have the resources available, or if you're really struggling against Duke Fishron. It does help a lot. So thanks again to Jay Oxtoby for the submission. As you can see, we're already in the second phase. Very neat. I never thought of it doing about this way. So, thank you very much for this. As we go ahead and take Duke Fisheron down once again. And of course, we be very mindful to stay away from the Vortex. Because that will kill you. And we go ahead and off Fisheron once again. Generally, I think I've drank maybe one potion throughout both battles. So, it gets close, but as long as you got potions for healing, you're good.